Do you want to come? Hermes Mini Kelly and how I got one in Paris. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya and I invest in luxury fashion. I'm also an Hermes collector and lover of all good quality things. Today we have Mila and Mango joining me. They're both toy Australian shepherds. Mila is 10 years old and Mango is three. They don't usually shoot content with me, but today they're here. So let's get to the exciting story of how I managed to score this amazing, beautiful mini Kelly in Paris without an appointment. I have a few rare bags in my collection, as you can see. I have some limited editions, some hard to get bags, some popular colors, but I think that this is my most prized possession and the price, oh my God, the price of this bag was unbelievably less expensive than the US and the rest of the world. I'm going to reveal the price. You seriously will not believe the price of this bag. I went to Paris a little less than a year ago. I was there at the end of March of last year. And of course I wanted to get an Hermes bag and not just any Hermes bag. I wanted to get a mini Kelly. I don't know, seriously, I don't know anyone who scored a mini Kelly in Paris flagship boutique FSH. I know of the owner of Purse Bob or, you know, the main lady behind Purse Bob was able to get a mini Kelly, but obviously I don't think that I'm at that level yet. And I have not had any relationship with her mess in Paris prior to this. So we get to Paris and on Saturday, my husband and I, we went shopping, I went to Goyard, I got Roger Vivier pumps, as you can see them right there they're so beautiful so we're on rue saint honore and we're just walking around and shopping and of course i knew that i was going to go to hermes and hermes was our last stop so we go there and i was planning on buying a few things uh because they were less expensive in france actually i got this blanket that day the avalon blanket in black i knew that i wanted one but i just didn't want to pay the American price. That day we also got some ready to wear and I got a pair of shoes as well. When we got to FSH, if you have been to the flagship store, you know how hectic it is, especially on the first floor at the back department. Oh my God. There were people screaming, people asking for an appointment, for any cancellations. And just overall, it was such a hectic atmosphere. It was so stressful. So my husband and I, we decided to just get off that floor completely. And we went to ready to wear. Uh, we were introduced to a sales associate and she was very nice. So we're walking around, we're collecting things. Overall, I would say that we spent about 4,000 to 5,000 euros that day and we ask for a bag and keep in mind it's like Saturday already like at around 6 p.m. they're about to close and they're like we don't have any bags for today we don't have any bags and the next day on Sunday they're closed so I was a little bit upset and my husband is like you know trying to work his magic trying to really get to you know like trying to say like oh yeah she would want a bag and things like that but they're like not possible come back on Monday. But I felt like when they were saying come back on Monday, that kind of like didn't mean it. I'm a little bit sad and disappointed. I loved my purchases regardless, but I wanted a bag. I should perhaps rewind and say that I have been playing in the online lottery forever and ever. As in like, we were in Paris for 10 days and every single day I submitted myself and my husband and every single day I got rejected. So I knew that the lottery was not the way. And on Sunday, we did some sightseeing. And obviously, come Monday morning, I have not slept the night before because I was like so excited and so like, ah, oh, like, are they gonna give me a bag or not? Are they gonna give me a bag or not? We get to the store on Monday morning and there is like a line of 15 people asking for cancellation. And they were like kind of like mean to us when we were asking for cancellations. They were like, no, no more cancellations. They're like, and there's like a bunch of people around you also asking for cancellations with husbands and they're pushing. And it's like, it's a, again, 
it's a very stressful environment if you have been there you understand what i'm talking about and if you haven't good for you because like honestly i did not think it was going to be so stressful and like the people with the ipads or the phones like they're usually a little bit more senior you can tell the ones who are, that are in charge of the appointment system we were like we we're just like saying yeah we were like thinking of cancellations and then we just like we basically gave like a story i don't remember what we were saying we we're saying that you know we're good customers of our mess and we we're just like hoping you know to get a bag and then they were like yeah no bye and then last resort I was like, okay, in that way, can we please continue shopping and go see the sales associate that I shopped with a few days before. So then they're like, oh, who was it? I know the name of my sales associate. I have her number, I have everything. And I'm like, mm, yeah, do you mind looking her up? So they look my, because we were buying on I mean, my husband's profile. So, and at that time that I was buying the systems, of the US and France were not yet linked. I know that that happened later last year, but or maybe they were like saying that they were gonna link them, but at the time they were not linked. But anyways, we were buying under my husband's name and I was like, can you please look it up, the sales associate. So then the person goes into the purchase, like it, she asks for my husband's name, she goes on her little iPad and she sees that we spend four or five thousand euros. She takes us to the sales associate. Of course, I know where the sales associate is. And then I'm like, yeah, you know, I really want a bag. Hi, sales associate and things like that. Then they have a conversation in French with the lady, you know, the appointment bags lady. I think that my sales associate was given like a green light to get me a bag. So she asked me, what do you want? I gave her three options. I said that I wanted a Kelly. Kelly is my favorite bag of Hermes. And I said, I either want a Kelly 25 or a mini Kelly in the following colors. I would like a blue, but a bright blue. I would like uh, like a Nata or Cree. Uh, so sort of like a white neutral color or I wanted a red so and my specific for the red was Rouge Kazakh now I gave I was like but I'm willing to be flexible I will I am flexible on the hardware I just wanted a Kelly Cellier I was not even looking at Retourne because I love Togo but for Birkins not Kelly's it's just a personal crazy preference <laughs> anyways and then i said something like so she she takes notes she takes notes like white natural gray red or blue but a brighter blue or a lighter blue i said actually blue broom i did not say i was just like a lighter just nothing dark blue and then i say in the end and i look at my sales associate i look her in the eye and i say a mini kelly would be a dream but i know it's very difficult my sales associate is taking all these notes and just like, you know, um, basically helping me and her colleague, I don't know who he was, but her colleague was overhearing. So they were standing like kind of close by. So when my sales associate left, presumably to go to look for a bag, I don't know, the colleague that was overhearing the whole conversation with the manager, with my SA, he was just like standing and observing us. And of course I dressed up well, you know, I pulled out the big guns. I was wearing, I don't know if you can see, but I was wearing the black Kelly 25. And I was like dressed like, you know, I really put in the effort to look my best. And my husband did as well. So we were just like there. And then this other employee over mess comes over to my sales associate says something to her and then they leave together now they were gone for like maybe 20 minutes i was starting to like really worry i was like i was so nervous or i don't know maybe they were gone less but to me it felt like they were gone for like 20 minutes so anyways me and my husband are just there i don't know i'm like walking around this like ready to wear section just like okay like what's going to happen and then they both the two of them so my sales associate and her colleague return with a small box if you have some experience with their mess you can kind of well you can guess what's going to be inside the box based on the size of the box and i see the box and i'm like oh like i could not believe this i was like almost crying and they were like both telling me like shh like don't show anything and then they like 
pushed me to the to the fitting room because we were in the ready to wear section. I was not in a private room, I was in a fitting room, but it, you know, Hermes fitting rooms are like super big with like couch and whatever. And then they started unpacking it. And I was like already almost crying and I was like, ah. Oh. And they were like, you don't even know what that is. And I was like, I know what it is because I see the size of the box. Like there's no other bag that they would be bringing me unless it was a mini Kelly. The box was, the box was this size. So I was like, I was almost like about to lose it. And then when they were unpacking it, and by that point, the, the male colleague of my sales associate kind of took over. And I was just like chatting with him. He ended up being so nice. Like both my sales associate and this, this man, they were uh, so, so nice. And they're actually friends like that I came to know afterwards. Then they, they unpack and then they pull this beautiful blue and they're like yeah it's the color is celeste and i i almost lost it i was like what i was like almost crying i was like i can't believe it you know i was like really showing it um and then they're like do you want a twilly for it and i'm like yeah sure i don't know if the twilly is here for this bag but it's a special twilly oh yeah it's here because it's a tiny mini kelly twilly oops sorry it's a napkin tiny Mini Kelly Twilly. What is this? This is so cute. And the box that this comes with is just like, look. Oh, I think I'm reliving the emotions again. Oh, I was so happy. And uh, the sales associates were so happy. Like we had a very great relationship going. I could not believe my luck. And they were telling me about the color, that it's Celeste, that it's got some leather. And I was like, you know what? My husband has a car exactly the same color. And they were like, no, really? I'm like, yes, exactly the same. So afterwards, when I got home, I sent them the picture and they were like, ah, yeah, you know, like we couldn't believe the coincidence. And anyways, it's one happy story. And the price of this bag, when I was buying it less than a year ago, it was 6,200 euros. I did claim the tax free. So the bag came to about 5,600 US dollars. So 5,600 for a mini Kelly in the US, it's like 10K or maybe like 9,000, whatever, something almost close to, almost close to 10,000 plus tax. So I just really couldn't believe my luck. I was so happy. I could not have expected a better outcome and i just really couldn't believe my happiness because at that point i only knew one person who was offered a mini kelly at um the flagship in paris and i certainly did not believe that i would be one of these people but i guess a big 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 combination of luck helped me get there however my search with hermes in paris did not stop there at the mini kelly i also tried my luck at Sevres store um, under my name so I guess stay tuned for part two which will be coming out soon I will tell the story of my experience so you can learn from it as well yes yeah, so please subscribe for part two also don't forget to follow me on Instagram I put so much effort into, into my stories and they're usually very entertaining and I give a lot of advice on Instagram as well